genotype by environment interactions affect how well a genotype performs in different environments. Repeatedly testing a set of genotypes across a wide range of environments is an effective way to investigate the G by E interaction. GenStack provides a descriptive tool for exploring the G by E interaction. The AMI biplot. The AMI, or Additive Main Effects and Multiplicative Interaction biplot, enables you to visualize the G by E interaction. Identify genotypes that are adapted to particular environments. Identify genotypes that are broadly adapted. Classify environments into groups. And measure the stability of a genotype. The AMI model combines standard analysis of variants with principal component analysis. In brief, Genotype and environment main effects are extracted using a two-way additive ANOVA model. Principal component analysis is then applied to the ANOVA residuals, which include the G by E interaction. As a result, the G by E interaction is characterized by interaction principal components, where genotypes and environments can be simultaneously plotted in biplots. To demonstrate AMI biplot analysis, we're going to use the trait mean data from the CIMMYT maze trials. The first two columns record the trial and genotype names for each measurement. The other columns contain the predicted means for five phenotypic traits anthesis silking interval, number of ears, days to male flowering, plant height, and yield. To import this data, select File, Open Example Data Sets, type F2, then scroll down and select F2 Maze Pheno.csv, then click Open Data. Click Read to open the next dialog window. To keep things simple, we're only going to import the data for the first 10 genotypes rather than for all genotypes. Select Limit Lines to be read, then enter 81 as the number of data lines to read. The first 81 lines contain the 10 genotypes we're going to analyze. Click OK, then click OK again to accept the default settings and import the spreadsheet. If I scroll to the bottom, you can see I've only selected the first 10 genotypes. Select Stats, Meta-analysis, AMI. We'll select Yield as our variable, then select Genotype and ENV for the environment. Click Options and select ANOVA Table so we can view the ANOVA Table in the output. Click OK, then Run to create the biplot. The genotype by environment interaction is summarized by the two interaction principal component axes. The ANOVA table shows IPCA1 and IPCA2 are highly significant. Axis 1 explains 37.49% of the G by E interaction sum of squares. Axis 2 explains 31.39% of the G by E interaction sum of squares. The AMI biplot helps us to visualize the G by E interaction. Genotypes are represented by green crosses and environments by blue pluses with vectors connecting the environment with the origin. Genotypes that cluster together behave similarly across the environments. Environments that cluster together influence the genotypes in a similar way. 
The angle between environment vectors provides information on the correlation between environments. An acute angle indicates positive correlation. A right angle indicates no correlation. An obtuse angle indicates negative correlation. The biplot's origin represents the overall mean phenotypic response, in our case, of yield. The position of a genotype or environment relative to the origin provides some insight into the G by E interaction. In general, genotypes which are near the origin are insensitive to environmental interactions, that is, they are broadly adapted. In contrast, genotypes far from the origin are sensitive to environmental interactions, meaning they are specifically adapted. Environments near the origin, as indicated by a short vector, elicit only weak interactive forces, whereas those far from the origin elicit strong interactive forces. If you project genotypes onto environmental vectors, you can approximate their G by E interaction. The environmental vector points in the direction of a positive interaction. We can extend the vector on the opposite side of the origin to see which genotypes have a negative interaction with that environment. For example, genotype G009 projects onto NS92A vector above the origin, indicating a positive interaction. Therefore, we can conclude that this genotype is positively adapted to this environment. Conversely, Genotype G008 projects onto NS92A vector below the origin, indicating a negative interaction. Therefore, we can conclude that this genotype is not well adapted to this environment. A word of warning though. As the interaction principle component axes explain only a portion of the G by E interaction, some caution must be taken when interpreting the biplot. For example, a genotype showing a particularly unique interaction with an environment will plot at the origin if it is explained by a higher order interaction principle component axis.